Howdy ladies and gentlemen, Cub here. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time, we talked a lot about the Falcon Heavy launch of SpaceX's new Falcon Heavy rocket. And we also put a Tesla Roadster into space, into our Cub Hub. So, we're going to make a few minor changes based on some viewer suggestions today. But first, today's Ask Jarvis question. And today's Ask Jarvis question is... Is Jarvis always right? So Jarvis, are you always right? Let's see what he says. Try another time. So he's deferring. He's deferring. Well, guess what, my friend? Now is another time. So let's ask him one more time, since it is indeed later now. Let's uh, let's ask him, Jarvis, are you always right? I'll we'll ask him one more, one more time and see what he says. This is false. This is false. Because Jarvis is not always right, but he's never wrong. He's at the top of the intelligence spectrum, but still only halfway there at the same time guys that's Jarvis for you that's Jarvis for you so today guys what we're gonna do we're gonna start off with a couple of viewer suggestions on how to improve the Roadster in the the Cub Hub we are actually going to grab a couple of item frames from right here uh, let's grab a couple here and so some people suggested we put down some white concrete as some headlights or actually tail lights too we might want to bring some red concrete to Potentially do some some tail lights. There we go. And let's see. We also want some iron pressure plates, which should be hopefully in my redstone box over here, close to the memento room areas. I got a lot of different areas we're working on at the, at the same time right now. Uh, and it turns out we don't have any. Okay, that's good to know. Let's just make our way down here. There we go. And so we'll just make a couple of iron pressure plates, which are not too bad to make here. So we'll just do this. Grab some of those, and then get. let's get four of these right here. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way to the Cub Hub now, and we'll make these slight adjustments. But yeah, thank you guys for the awesome feedback on the, on the episode on Thursday. A lot of people seem to be very excited about some uh, potential science videos, so yeah, maybe doing those in the near future. So let's get on, get on up here. We want to... I thought that was a guest in the hub for a moment there. <laughs> let's get up here real quick. And so for the front, we have these lights here. Now I'm wondering if this will actually look better or worse. We put this down and then put the white concrete in. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'd say that looks slightly better. Slight improvement. So let's just do this here. And we'll get the white concrete out right here. And for these pressure plates, I'm thinking like right here would look good. Yeah, it gives like a little shine on the top. That's perfect. And then maybe on the back here too. Yep, okay. And let's see, I think for the back, maybe we keep it as it is on the back right there. Yeah, let's see how this, how this looks right now. This might be all we really need to do. Oh, hello. Let's get back up and get that last block. There we go. Pick up these extra dirt, and let's see how it looks. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Yeah, so thank you guys for suggesting that. Uh, one other thing I want to do here. You see how these animals are all gathered at the side of the world here? i like to change that as well here. Uh, because, yeah, I've meant to change that for a while now. And you can see yeah, it's over there. They're sort of gathering over here. They're gathering, and the reason this happens is because in Minecraft, animals tend to, uh, in dark areas, they tend to gather toward light areas. So, I'm thinking what we do, we probably want to just, like, hide, hide light sources in this, uh, the ground here, and maybe actually get rid of some of the light sources around, uh, the sides here, uh, just where they all, yeah, they all gather around the side, it looks kind of weird. So, yeah, we want to try and prevent that. I might just put, like, um, like end rods in here. That could be, like, cities. We could put, like, a collection of end rods in there. But I want to get some light in there so that this doesn't happen. So that these animals are not, like, congregated at the side of the, the hub. So, yeah, we're going to do that here right now. So give me a moment, and I'll be right back. So, guys, I went ahead and solved the problem with the animals all congregating at the side of the hub. I just took down some of the stars that were at the very top. So, there's no stars, like, within, you know, a couple blocks of the top portion. 
And we also went ahead and lit up the Tesla Roadster. So you can see there. Uh, yeah, looking a lot brighter. You can actually see it now compared to the background. Uh, the background stars and stuff. So if I go ahead and get on up here, uh, you can see I actually went ahead and I put down some glowstone in the, uh, the dashboard of the car. Which is then covered up by carpet. So that's what's providing the light for the car right here. So I think it makes it stand out a little bit more. Makes it a little bit more unique. Yeah, definitely helps out a little bit, I think. So, there you go. <laughs> nice. Um, right, so, yeah, now with those two issues solved, I think now we are going to head on back to the base, and we have a slight issue. Uh, apparently, Iskull has been slaying some of Scar's cats and has threatened war on the convex, so... Of course, if Iskall threatens war, we need to respond. So let's go ahead and jump into a call with Scar, and we are going to respond to these cries for war. <laughs> hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Convex HQ. What's up, Scar? Well, hello there. I noticed that there's a little yellow suit behind you. A little memento from our last uh, endeavor as a Vex. That's true. Yeah, the hazmat suit. We got to put that in. Yeah, we had to put that in here. Just in case Speaking it's ever needed hazmat. again, you know. Oh, of course. Speaking of hazmat, we've got a problem, Cub. we got a big problem. What's that? 85. Iskel of 85th Street ah, has been making ah. little gestures of hostility towards me. And he killed one of my cats. Ooh, that's not good. Did he mm -mm. did he say anything else? Is there any other implication that something else might be coming? Oh yeah, a war. A war. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I see. I'm I more see. concerned about the cat, but the war is also concerning in its own way, of course. Yeah, man. I'm I'm con like we got a lot of treasure here, right? Yes, yeah, so much treasure, so ever much. growing. May I point out, ever growing. Yeah, I mean, like the chests are full of diamonds. We got mm -hmm. priceless mementos here. We gotta, we gotta mm -hmm. defend this place, man. We gotta defend this place. And I think, I think I have the perfect solution to this. Ooh, tell me more. What if we get somebody? We like hire a security detail who constantly monitors this area. Oh, I like, I like what you're thinking. I like what you're thinking because I haven't been getting any good sleep knowing this has all been unprotected. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean. You've been waking up, tossing, turning in the middle of the night. I I've been mm -hmm. doing that myself, and it's time—it's time, yep. mm -hmm. it's time yep. to to secure this area. Like it's just been open, but I I've come up with an idea. Right here, we're gonna hire oh. a security person, a security guard, like one of those huge buff guys, you know. Maybe give him like oh, a murderous yeah. axe and something. Yeah, like I think that oh, would work it. out really well. Oh, I love it. Also, this is great expansions for more diamonds. I like it back here. Yes, yes, we can hide stuff down down here. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Should we go? Should we go meet the guy? Should we go meet the guy? Oh, we should. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. He's he's not far. He's not far. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful smokestack, billowing high above the plains here. And Scar, I want you to meet my good friend, the Sweet Slayer. <laughs> Omg! Look at those eyes and that axe. He is ready to roll to protect us from particular people. Yep. I like it. Yep, he can. He can. He's he alone can do it, man. He alone can do mm, it. Mm -hmm. I'm he's very got, excited. He's got a very powerful mm. weapon there. It's actually enchanted X. How about that? That's pretty insane. Um, That's pretty good. Extra, just a little extra. You know, sometimes you got to get a little extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we got to move this guy to mm -hmm. our headquarters. Um, he can't do it alone. He's he's for some reason stuck in a minecart permanently. Nobody <laughs> really knows why, but I think we can take this stuff down and start to move him over there. What do you say? Oh, I think this will be good. Also, it cleans up your, your the neighborhood a little bit. Oh, I mean, yeah. you guy had a little shanty town over here. Yep, yep. It wasn't looking good. And I'm, I'm just going <laughs> to briefly test this out. I just want to see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that did so much damage. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. He's he's definitely our guy. That did seven hearts of damage. <laughs> oh, I remembered. I have thorns. Look at this. I'm becoming a Minecraft professional. I took them off. Oh, there you go. Yep. Are you proud of me? You still have the Santa suit on, though. <sighs> ruined. 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 Ruined totally. Nobody's proud of me. Totally ruined. You gotta, you gotta totally take that ruined. off, man. It's already, it's like 
two months past now. Jeez. I'm I'm working on it. I'm gonna get it done. I I, I was trying. I, I let my viewers know OBS decided just to just to just to hurt my feelings today. It was a whole thing. You've seen pictures and it's just a nightmare. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Well here's some here's some rails. We can use some of these to uh to get them over there. I'll just toss all right. Ooh, look yeah. at this. Oh, but it's gonna break all your nice landscaping. Are we gonna oh, go around all the plants? Let's go up. Let's around. go up. Let's get a bunch of dirt and we'll just take it up and around over to the see the hall. That's a novice. That's a novice Minecrafter move right there. I'm just going around the plants. You're like, let's get in the air, man. Yep. Let's take to the skies. All right, Scar. We have a huge long rail line. We're getting ready to move, Mr. Swede Slayer here. And oh, he just pulled out his little slang tool there. Look at how vicious he is. Yeah, yeah, he wants. He's he wants so blood. upset right now. Look at him. He's yep. rocking the cart. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Let's see if he makes it. Hopefully, he makes it. We're not. We're not really sure if he'll make it or not. Let's see. Did he make it? Uh, he going. did. So He's still far. going. Yep. It's like a Volvo just cruising down the road right now. <laughs> Pretty much. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Yep, there he goes. He's yep. going along in a good clip now. Yeah. That's good speed right there, right into his little spot. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm gonna get in there before he actually makes it in. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> came in. Came in there hot. Yep. Here he okay, comes. Okay, here he comes. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Watch! Watch out for the sword. Around the corner, oh. and he's in. he in. Okay. Yep. He's in there. Oh, gotta, that's looking good. Just break this like. Let's that. break a rail just in case. All right. Oh, you got it. You got it. All right. Yep. Good. Good. And good. then I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna place. Some trap doors like that, so he can't get out. There we go. Look at him. Oh, I love it. Just sitting there. Let's replace some of this stuff too here. Clean up the, uh, yeah. the HQ a little bit, you know. Oh, I know. This is yeah. this is this is this is disgusting. We need to maintain. We need to maintain mm. appearances here. Yeah, definitely. There we go. Some of that. Repair all this. There we go. Yep. Anything outside the HQ doesn't matter. Yep. There we go. And let's see. Do you have any dark oak wood by any chance? Or do we need? Unfortunately, I do not, but I can get some. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to need some. We're going to need Yeah, some. I got it. I got it. I got it. Always got something ready to roll. Nice. And I don't have... Oh, no. I do have logs. Is that what we needed? That's what we need. Yep. Dark oak logs. Okay. Perfect. 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 There we go. Down there. Got that set up. Put that back. Close up the shop. Bam. Got it. Rolling now. Yep. Hang on. Hang on. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm on the outside looking in. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Just and a little Vex practical okay. joke. I see how it is. I see how it is. What, 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 what if this lamp boat just sort of went away? <gasps> oh, that is so cruel. Almost as cruel as Mr. 85 himself. Yeah, but he's not gonna he's not gonna harm us here. We got this guy, Sweet Slayer, right there. Right when you come in the entrance, right here. First thing you're gonna see, Sweet Slayer. He's he's gonna check you at the door. Boom, you're good to go. But yeah, Iskol, like it. Iskol, he's not gonna let us go through. No way. Here's a business opportunity. Not only can he be a security officer of of the building, but he could sell tickets in case we come upon hard times. He could sell trampoline tickets. Hermit comes up here. I'm here for my trampoline time. Grab some, grab a ticket. Jump on the trampoline. Bingo. You got it. That's easy money for us right there, man. That's what that money. Is. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. I, I guess see, uh, I guess I'll give you that back. Thank you very much. You know, I was getting a little bit distressed without my land boat. <laughs> I was getting distressed. I was. I'll tell you that right now. Well, it's back in its spot. That makes me happy. Okay, man. This base is secured. I think we're good. We're good. He's got nothing on us now. Absolutely. I'll see you later, man. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>So we now have a permanent security detail over at Convex HQ, which should work to deter any potential pranks or any potential looting of our headquarters uh, by Iskall or anybody else. So that's awesome. I think now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to do something for the Winter Olympics. Uh, I want to grab some snow here and also some packed ice and some snow layers. And we might as well just grab some of the regular ice as well. Here's some more packed ice too, so let's go ahead and just pop all this stuff into this shulker box here. And what I think we're going to do, we're going to make a Winter Olympics event in the gaming district. Uh, I want to make a ski jump uh, with boats. So that's what we're going to try and do here. So I'm going to grab some snow, grab some packed ice. We'll probably need a little bit more. Well, we have some extra packed ice here too, so we might be okay. 
Um, let's see, we are going to need a couple other things. We got some end rods, that's good. We might need some iron bars as well. Uh, let's see, some anvils might be good to have. Some, let's see, what else? Some pressure plates. We're definitely going to need some pressure plates. So let's grab some of these. Uh, let's see, we might as well just grab the rest of the redstone box over here as well. And we're going to head out to the gaming district and see where might be a good spot to put this ski jump. Because it's going to be kind of a, a tall build, kind of a big build actually. And yeah, we'll see where we can put this at. Okay guys, welcome to the gaming district here. So I'm looking for a spot to put this ski jump. And we need a lot of vertical relief, which there is none around here, especially on this side. Like somebody went through and flattened this whole thing. So there's no good spots to put it over here. And over here, it's also not that great. There is like a little hill right there, but we need something taller than that. So I'm thinking we put the ski jump right on top of this. So this, I think, does have enough vertical relief. There's actually a sheer cliff face here, too. Uh, but I think this area here will be a good spot for the ski jump. And so the idea is that we're going to, you know, start up here. So, like, we'll put maybe, like, the the place where the quote-unquote skiers come out. So basically we're getting our boats in like a little shack here. We'd go down about, you know, four to five blocks, probably to about here or so, at which point it would level off to, let's say, here. And then from here, you know, there'd be like a steep uh, ski slope straight down. Well, not straight down, but like uh, vertically downward. And then it would sort of, at the end, sort of smooth out into like a... Uh, the runoff, basically, from the uh, the ski slope. Uh, so then, basically, we'd end up, you know, down here at the very end, like where this red mushroom is down here, like in this area. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good plan. And this is going to be a fairly simple build. It's just going to be basically take an ice boat uh, off a cliff and see how far you can go. Um, so not really a whole lot of advanced redstone, but it should be pretty fun. I mean, I haven't really seen... Uh, too many of these ski jumps in Minecraft yet, so I think maybe here is a good spot to put it. Let's see. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, I think, I think here would be a good spot. So, hmm. Or maybe here. How about here? Yeah, here seems like a good spot. So let's go ahead and make this right here. Uh, let's just go ahead and put down, like, the preliminary block. So let's say... We get out a few blocks of packed ice. Let's say the house thing we put like right here, right? And then let's say we have a couple of blocks here. So it comes out of the house, like you come out of the house here, you start going down. Let's have this be where we go down at, right here. And we may have to make this a little bit wider as well. So we'll have it come down, we'll have it come down, we'll have it come down, we'll have it come down. And then, let's say right here it starts to level off just a little bit. So we'll have, let's see, two blocks there. We'll have, let's say, like, four blocks there. And then let's, well, actually, you know what? Let's just have it take off right here, I think, would be good. And so we'll have, like, let's say six blocks here, and then we'll have the jump at the very last portion. So, like, right... Something like this, I think, would be really good. And actually, maybe like that. Yeah, something like that. So you come down here, and then right here will be the jump. Yeah, right here will be the jump. Uh, I got my redstone stuff here, so let's just go ahead and make this happen. So we need a sticky piston. Uh, we're going to need some slime blocks, so we'll have to get that. Uh, and then we're going to need some pressure plates. Probably, like, here. So, well, maybe not there. How about, like, right here? Be a good spot there. So yeah, you'd run across the pressure plate here. And then that will activate the sticky piston under, underneath the slime block, which will be here. And then you'll launch out in this direction. So let's go ahead and get a slime block. And let's wire this bit up here. Just so we know exactly how far that we can travel here. Okay, guys. So we got some more progress done here. This is what the ski jump is going to look like here. So we got some things to like hold you in on the sides as you go down here. But basically, we're going to have a boat. And so let me just go ahead and make a boat here real quick. There we go. Just one boat. There we go. 
and we're gonna go ahead and plop this down like this you'll get in ride down like this get launched up and then we're gonna land about right here okay so this is how far we can launch essentially I mean, might be able to launch a little bit further or a little bit uh, shorter depend depending on how we hit that I hit the final bit there but yeah this is generally like where we're gonna land at so we have to keep that in mind Okay guys, so now we know how far we can go, we're now going to start to make the actual ski slope here. So again, we're going to just go right off of this, and then get launched up. Uh, I'm going to start the slope one block below the slime blocks, just so, you know, if somebody happens to go a little bit too slow or a little bit too fast, they can still make it off. Uh, at least a little ways down. Uh, but I think we're going to go with a slope of 1 over 1, because I think that is sort of like the steepest slope that looks somewhat reasonable we can have here. Uh, I don't want it to be down one over one forever though, so we're gonna need to switch it up a little bit. But I'll go ahead and make this slope here and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay guys, so there is our slope right there. So you can see it comes down pretty steep at first, uh, just down one over one, and then it sort of gradually sort of levels out as you get toward the bottom right here. But I think it looks pretty good actually, so I think what we need to do now is just basically uh, start it off small near the top and then sort of expand it out at the bottom here. Sort of like a, uh, almost like a teardrop shape, uh, kind of. But yeah, I think the slope itself is pretty decent. It looks pretty good. And yeah, we should be able to, you know, like some people will land up here, some people will land down here, and some people, might, if they get really lucky, might land like all the way down here uh, or so. So... Yeah, I think that should be good. So let's go ahead and just expand this on the sides here a little bit. Uh, we do have a few more blocks we need to pick up. But we'll just basically expand this and make it bigger so that there's more of an area to land in besides just on this one, uh, this one block of snow here. So let's go ahead and do that now and I'll be right back. So guys, there we have it. We have some snow down and we formed a slope here where all the ski jumpers can land on with their boats. And I think it looks pretty good, you know, it's sort of like tapering off toward the top and basically like looking from down here, it's going to be like you're not going to see anything. Then all of a sudden, boom, there's going to be somebody in the boat flying down and they'll eventually end up like landing like in this region or in this region or back here if it's not a very good jump. So I think this is a pretty good representation, like pretty good slope of the, the ski jump itself. I'll show you a real photo of a uh, ski jump area right here so this is one of the actual ones in real life so I think we we got the general shape of this down pretty well uh, however like I said we did run out of snow blocks so we'll have to get a few more of these uh, so we'll have to go out to like the ice plain spikes biome and get some more uh, and then fill the rest of this in so there we have it guys we went and gathered a bunch of snow and we put down all the rest of the snow to fill out the ski jump slope so we got that all figured out we also added some other things, so for instance we added some gray concrete on the sides here to sort of frame in this ski slope, or this ski jump slope rather, uh, along with some iron bars. We also have some buttons here. These buttons are meant to indicate where jumps are valid. So between the buttons, if your boat were to land, let's say, right here, that would be a valid jump because you're in between the buttons. But if your boat was, let's say you, you landed over here, for instance, that's outside of the buttons and wouldn't be considered a valid jump. So that's what I'm uh, sort of thinking of these buttons as. Like it, it sort of dictates the area where the jump is valid. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. We also have some indicators for distance. We have these red stripes right here which indicate distance. Um, and yeah, it just helps at a glance to see how far you went. So we have one, two, three, four, four. Uh, no, five. I'm missing a, <laughs> I'm missing a block up here. Let me get back up here and put this down real quick. Uh, so yeah, we have five of these red stripes here, uh, which that one we're going to put down right there and put an iron bar on top. So yeah, I think it's looking okay now. Let me see if I can get over here and just see what it looks like from the air. Yeah, so there's the run up right there. You jump off and you should soar down and land somewhere in this region right down here. So we'll have to see what other things we add around here. I'm thinking of maybe doing something with distance with tripwires. So like we could put a tripwire here, we could put a tripwire here. Uh, we could connect them up with a bunch of string. 
right here, and then we'd have like lamps, perhaps on the side somehow, that would indicate, you know, if they lit up, you'd obviously, uh, you were on the ground there, so you just look up, and whichever ones are not lit, that's the highest, or that's, uh, the one after that is where you landed on, the block you landed on, so, uh, we could do that, we could also do something like with a race here, for instance, like, I could set up a hopper timer, like, at the bottom here, and then whoever made it from the very top to the bottom and pressed the button first, uh, after starting the hopper timer up there, would be the winner. So that could be cool. Could make it like a little time trial thing. So there's a lot of different possibilities we could do with this ski jump. Like, we don't necessarily have to do it uh, properly, like, with the, the distance like they do in the actual Olympics. So yeah, guys, we'll have to see if that comes to fruition, if I decide to do... Uh, one of those things, both of those things, or all of those things. And if I decide to do other events, like the biathlon, I have a good idea for that, I think. Uh, and maybe some other uh, Winter Olympics events. But I think this looks pretty good. So I'm actually going to have to leave it there for now. I'm actually out of time for this episode. But we will continue to work on this a little bit more in the next episode. So until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.